Hey guys, this is Grant Warrington with Warrington Group. I'm a realtor in Southeast Michigan with Real Estate One downriver. Um, what I wanted to go over today with you is sewers and sewer backups in houses, particularly basements. So what actually happens, um, what to look for, and kind of a cost associated with it. So um, I'm gonna go over, over that with you and uh, I'll show you right now what to look for. So right here we're looking at the bathtub and that's a p-trap for the bathtub and that runs down over into the stack um, and this is called the stack which runs down into the floor the top of the stack runs up through the floor and exits on the roof and that's a vent and that's how the your plumbing system breathes um, right here uh, attached to that on top upstairs is the toilet and everything runs down into this stack and you have a pipe a drain pipe that runs through underneath the concrete um, this drain attaches to it uh, here's another quick tip if you ever smell sewer gas in your basement check and make sure there's water inside your drain. Stick a flashlight in there and there is. You can see that there's water in there. There's a P-trap in that drain and it's designed not to let sewer gas come back up um, into your house. So if you smell that, that's one thing to check. Check all your drains, make sure that there is water in there. Um, so we're gonna follow this, this drain pipe underneath the concrete and it's gonna run all the way over here to the clean outs. And this is a clean out for your, uh, for your drain. If you can see in there, you should be able to see some uh, water running out. I have the water running in the other room. Uh, it's really hard to see, but that is the clean out that your plumber is gonna use to snake your drain. So what happens is when you notice some water coming up through your floor drains, um, what you need to do is immediately stop uh, uh, doing anything that causes water, um, using the toilet, the um, dishwasher, um, the faucets, anything. Um, you need to stop immediately and see if that water goes back down through the floor drains in the basement. If it's not, that means you have a blockage in that drain pipe I just showed you where the plumber is going to have to come out and snake it. Um, so what happens is a lot of times um, the plumber's going to come out, he's, he's going to snake it, he's going to tell you, well, we need to go ahead and fix the uh, dig up outside and, and fix the whole drain, replace it. Uh, that could be about $10,000 to $15,000 uh, in repair. So what I suggest is they camera the drain. If anyone tells you that, you, you, you'd like them to camera the drain and show you the inside of the drain. Um, any reputable plumber is going to have no problem with this. Of course, you got to pay for the uh, for them to camera it. That should be around two hundred dollars or so, and um, they'll be able to show you the drain and why it needs to be repaired. Um, so again, I'm going to go outside right now and I'm going to show you what happens on the outside of the house where the drain comes out and where it runs to. So this is where the drain comes out. It's about ten feet down under the ground there. So it comes out of the house right there and it's only one drain. It's about four to six inches wide, depending on the uh, age of your home. And uh, all the water in your home goes into that one pipe and it exits your house, runs this way, and it runs out to the street. And there's a, there's a uh, large city drain sewer system in the street that it dumps into. Um, some houses exit out the back of the house. This one exits out the front. So it's uh, really home specific, but this gives you a good idea. So what's happening is sitting on top of your drain is this beautiful tree. And the problem with that is the tree roots get down and they look for water and a great source of water is your drain. So um, some of the old drains are made out of clay. So the roots can get inside the drain very easily. Uh, that causes a blockage when you flush toilet paper or anything like that down through that drain. Um, that causes a problem and that's why it backs up. And that's why the plumber has to come out and run a snake through that drain and release the blockage. So I, I hope this helped you guys. I hope it helped explain a little bit better of uh, how water exits your house and what to do. 
Um, again, uh, leave a message in the comments if you have any questions. Um, and also you can find us on Facebook, Warrington Group, and uh, let me know if I can help out in, uh, in, in the future with uh, any other videos. So thanks again. I appreciate you watching. I hope this added some value to you. Thank you.